everybody, what the rowing down some more 1984 mod. If you don't remember which one that was, this is the one that I played Texas in. This time around, I'm going 1949, and I'm going with Catalonia. There was quite a few requests for me to play this, and I just feel like Catalonia has been underrepresented in these mods. We got Cyprus. Ukraine, Belarus with their badass uh, aircraft carrier, and California, Texas, and Florida. I still plan on playing with California and Florida. And I also bought all German generals for this series. I just feel like, you know, it's 1949. They had all escaped to Spain. They had a falling out with Franco. They all uh, headquartered in Barcelona and um, waited for the world to go to shit again. And now they're coming out of Catalonia, ready for world domination once again. That's what I'm feeling happened. I'm pretty confident that's what happened anyways. Now, um, if you don't recall the Texas campaign I played, there was some major spam. The spam beast. Which without the, uh, without the use of maxed out tank generals, I don't think there was a way we could have beat that. Although some people said that I only got spammed because my generals were maxed out. So if that's the only reason, then yeah, you know, maybe the spam would have went elsewhere and we could have done it. I don't know. I do know I need to get a few super heavies out as quick as possible. I, I, I know from last series that you want to take over as much land as quickly as possible. And uh, there we go. We already got some spam coming our way from North Africa. That didn't take long. Shit. I thought it was 340, not 350. I just wasted 80 bucks that I don't have. Now, we can't afford a super heavy, and of course, you know the first general going down. It's gonna be Manstein himself. I'll send him right into um, probably France. Try to take Leon and Paris and get Guderian and Rommel. On super heavies. Damn, look at the Soviets. They wasted no time attacking France, did they? Well, I don't know what that means. Why in the hell? Is Guderian commanding a Soviet KV-5? Obviously it makes sense why he's going to be commanding a tortoise tank for the Catalonian army. It just does, doesn't make any sense why he's fighting for the Soviets. I'm sure our allies in Europe are going to be taken out pretty quick. But remember, 
in the in the Texas series, like Cyprus actually kicks some kicks some ass. They uh they've made it all the way to like Scandinavia, I think. Hold on, that wasn't that wasn't that mod, was it? Because they would have been my ally, because I was Texas. Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe that was a different year. Can you play Texas a different year than just 49? It's 49 or 48. Well, it says 50, but the tab said 49. Get wrecked, Gudarian. That's what happens when you fight for the commies. You gotta fight for fascist Catalonia. Alright, we're gonna be able to take Leon. Put down some super heavies closer to the front. Noise. I'm interested to see where the huge spam ball starts originating from. Because you know it's going to happen. Yes, yeah, I'm also in Manstein North. Put him in charge of Paris, maybe even England. Well, not maybe, most likely England. Get Guderian headed out east. Pretty sure Catalonia is going to be unstoppable here. Looks like the spam out of Africa already stopped. Oh, what? You got rejected. Manstein just got his ankles broke. Threw up a one on him. Oh shit, I'm out of oil. And I've got no incoming oil whatsoever. Uh. Wow, I screwed myself. Um, good thing I have infantry. I mean, if I didn't have infantry, I would be screwed. I'd have to start over, right? I have no way to get oil. Well, that sucks. That's like a wasted round. I 
I just always forget about oil. I mean, when do you ever run out of oil in, like, the regular game? There. That should help. Yeah, now we got 81 oil. Yeah, if I wouldn't have... Because you guys know I usually place down motorized divisions. If I had done that, which I would have done, if I had enough money, I would have been screwed. I would have had to start over. Rommel me, bro. I think I got one other crappy tank general I can place down. Okay, so far the spam beast seems to just be, you know, located in and around the Baltic area, or the Balkans. What is up with that guy? How does he keep... Bruh! That is bullshit! It's only level 4! Hmm. I don't know what's up with that. Get a man, Stein. I think I'm going to be able to leave this city without a general on it till I take care of Brazil or at least start heading towards Brazil and Cuba. We got a little bit of congestion down in here, don't we? I think you Darian can handle this. I don't even know if I, whether I should fire at that general that keeps throwing down ones. I mean, I might just have to. I don't. I don't really know what to do with him. Avoid him. All right, there we go. That's all my generals. I can't get it done with them, I'm screwed. See, how would you cut through all that spam if not for the badass generals? I guess it's kind of like the uh, Alpha War mod. How would you cut through all the spam without dildo launchers?
The answer is you wouldn't. That guy's invincible. The creator of this mod was like, I'm going to sneak in uh, Invincible General. Now I got the US and Canada arriving. I probably need to get... I need a super heavy with a general on it to head over to South America. Because that guy in that piece of crap Churchill is not going to be able to get it done. Watch this spam reduction. Yeah, he thought he had a pretty good force. He was just like, all right, we're, we're like, you know, six, seven, eight deep. We got this, bros. Not so much. Not with Manstein manning the Atlantic Wall. Hopefully I can get my super heavy over to Portugal before I get overran. Hopefully he can hold out against the Invincible General. You don't just surround Lieb like that. Like you got the Russian, Russians, British, uh, Egypt, and uh, who else was in there? All fighting together to take out Lieb. What's up, Monty? How you doing, bro? Thought I'd swing by and say hi. <laughs> I 
Uh, we lost Madrid. See, I, I, I knew that was going to happen. I seen that coming. I knew to direct a super heavy over this way. I guess I could do the uh, rocket artillery spam wall. That seemed to also work, but I'm not making that much yet. Alright bros, we're about needing to wrap this first episode up after this round. Invincible General, still invincible and still invincible. Alright, yeah, we've got some Balkan spam ball circle jerk. That's really it. I mean, I expected more spam out of the U.S., but nope. Just not happening. Well, there is the land we have taken over. Anyways, bros, I'm wrapping this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the shit out of the like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Brumanati. Out. <laughs>